about now we want to talk about matters theater film acting and anything in between that field and with me i have a thespian a filmmaker a filmmaker actor um drama teacher and what the newspapers describe as the finest theater brains the one and only martin kigondo now he is here he'll be talking to us about those things that i've told you about he has a play coming up he'll be telling us about that and to more and we get to learn more about film and theater welcome Thank you. How are you? Salama sana. Karibu kwenye show. Thank you so, so uh -huh. much. So yeah. kindly introduce yourself to our people. Najwa, that's just a little bit. There's so much more to Martin. Is there? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. you, you mostly said it all. Uh -huh. I, like you said, I'm a thespian. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the main reason we introduce ourselves as such, mm -hmm. as opposed to just an actor, yeah. it means your background is mostly from theater. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, years and years in theater mm -hmm. so not that mm -hmm. known to everyone else yeah unless they go to theater to theater yes. yeah uh, i'm a playwright mm -hmm. uh, i write for means i write for stage mm -hmm. but i also write for tv as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. i also write for i write short films yeah yeah i like experimenting here uh -huh. everywhere uh -huh. i act mm -hmm. uh, for screen as well mm -hmm. what else do i wow. do i teach wow. speech and performance uh -huh. I produce, uh -huh. uh, yeah, that's, that's more or less See, it. See, uh, I, I told you, there are so many things I had not said about you. By the way, we are talking about, we, we, we are putting it into, you know, theater and film. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, when you talk about theater, I know thespians, they are very passionate about what they do. Mm. And um, the world is transitioning into film. Um, theater, as much as there are plays and everything, we still need to go to the film world because mm. that is where the world is headed to. So how did that, how was that transition for you? Uh, transition for me was um, almost intentional, mm -hmm. but intentionally slow. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, you said, yes, the transition is happening to mm -hmm. film, but raw uh, performances will always be here. Mm -hmm. They were there when Jesus was here. Yeah. He was doing theatre, uh -huh. you know. Th yeah, the standing around, okay. projecting, talking to the people, that is theatre. Mm -hmm. Theatre is storytelling. Mm -hmm. This was being done ages before the yes. white man came. Uh -huh. uh, so, theatre has always been there, mm -hmm. and even after film, will still have it, even mm -hmm. when uh, all this... Uh, platforms come up yeah. we'll still always have theater mm -hmm. so for me the transition happened uh, uh, I've been performing on stage from uh, 2007 mm -hmm. started at the National Theater mm -hmm. then uh, had years and years of the Phoenix players mm -hmm. as an actor mm -hmm. and as a director as well yeah uh, so it's around 2010 that uh, this uh, analog and mm -hmm. digital. Digital, digital when yes. that happened uh -huh. Um, yeah, around then, 2010, 2011, 2012, somewhere there, mm -hmm. there was a transition where every theatre actor mm -hmm. we used to work with mm -hmm. went to TV. Mm -hmm. So they were either acting on a TV show, mm -hmm. or presenting something, mm -hmm. others went to radio, and then it became very vacant. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what, let me just take advantage to now yeah. build myself as, mm -hmm. a, as a thespian. Yeah. So that is when I really put work in there. Mm -hmm. But later, I always knew I'd eventually go to mm -hmm. screen yeah. but i didn't want it to approach it as i didn't want to approach it as uh, everyone else would mm -hmm. like let me build a career with this uh, tv thing yeah. i'm a screen thing mm -hmm. So I was like, no, I love theatre. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm addicted to good stories. Mm -hmm. I'll keep doing this up till the time is right for me to transit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So around 2018 mm -hmm. uh, is when I started thinking about filmmaking. Mm -hmm. uh, since then, I've put out a couple of short films, mm -hmm. at least a year. Mm -hmm. Of course, things slowed down because yeah. of uh, the recent uh, COVID mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's been it. Just doing the balance. Um, I have background in, uh, well, I've been trained for TV writing. Mm -hmm. So that helps as well to still do a bit of screenwriting for yeah. a couple of projects. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a bit of a balance. Mm -hmm. But yes, theatre has consistently been there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm glad we are back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, most of the actors, okay, from what I know, because mm -hmm. um, I have acted before. Mm -hmm. And when I first went to 
try acting for film. Mm -hmm. I was told I am overacting. I don't know need you mezoya theater. You know theater you need to there's more yeah. than a film. Yeah. Did you experience that? Have you had actors who are experiencing the same? Um in film? Mm -hmm. Well, I honestly don't think uh there's a problem with that. I mm -hmm. think the problem is always a challenge to the director mm -hmm. because the actor is only but a vessel. Mm -hmm. So if you demand for them to fit in uh, all in the same way, mm -hmm. then clearly you'll be doing this every time. Mm -hmm. ah, actors were theater. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think it's a matter of the one in charge of the project, one mm -hmm. knowing how they cast, yeah. so that even if you bring a, a, a theater actor or mm -hmm. an actor with a background in theater, you have uh, explained to them what is required of them. Yes. So that when they get there, mm -hmm. by the third take, mm -hmm. yes, we've reduced it a bit. Yes. But it still depends on one, uh -huh. the tone of the project, mm -hmm. and two, mm -hmm. the material you're working with. Yeah. Because something like comedy, mm -hmm. comedy works very well, mm -hmm. especially when it's all out with yeah. an actor who's done a lot of theater because mm -hmm. they now know how to overdo it just a bit. Yeah. But when it's like very mm -hmm. serious drama, mm -hmm. then maybe tone it down. Tone it down and it's bit. only, I always say, mm -hmm. it's blame the director. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because they're the, one, they're the ones who at least have uh, a say when it comes to casting. Mm -hmm. But also mm -hmm. for the end product, mm -hmm. it's all on them. Yes. Yeah, the actor is just but a vessel. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so tell us a bit about the short films that you have worked on before mm. we get into what has brought us here today. Yeah, sure. Mm. Um, uh, I'll, I'll only share the ones that uh, probably are in the public domain. Mm -hmm. So they can check us uh, out on our YouTube, mm -hmm. Prevail Presents. Mm -hmm. That's the company's YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, every uh, social platform, I guess, is also Prevail Presents. Mm -hmm. And on Prevail Presents, there is Gatara uh, Shaini. Mm -hmm. That's a very uh, cheeky mm -hmm. short film mm -hmm. starring, uh, starring Airosh uh -huh. and uh, Faith Kanini. Uh -huh. uh, this is Airosh, the singer. Yes. And Faith Kanini, a very, very good actor. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a lady actor. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that was just me playing around with uh, memories from my growing up, mm -hmm. but also mixing it up with stories from other people. Mm -hmm. So it was just a small sh uh, shot that uh, we premiered at DocuBox, mm -hmm. short, short, short. Okay. This is pre-COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pre no, this is Mark in the, uh, yeah, in the middle of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. wow. So that was good. It was just to make people laugh and mm -hmm. have a good time. But we shot it before. It's just the premiere was a little later. Um, what else? There is Contained, mm -hmm. Contained, uh, starring myself and Akinyo Luoch. Mm -hmm. This was about a couple and how they went through the COVID season. Mm -hmm. And I remember this was, it came, it came off as a challenge. And I'm not the guy you challenge. Yeah. Because someone was like, no, Joe, you can't, you can't do a whole film project mm -hmm. with, sorry, I have to do this. You mm -hmm. can't do a whole film project mm -hmm. without, without sound. Mm -hmm. like, no, like, sound is the most important Wait. thing. So I was like, yeah, sure. I'll work with sound mm -hmm. in the post, mm -hmm. but on the ground, uh, like you had no sound on the ground. Yeah, yeah, like it was intentional. Uh, it was intentional because I was told you couldn't. I was like, oh, okay, sour. Watch you, me do you this. You are a man who likes a challenge because there's another one that you're about to reveal to us. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, it turned out okay. It was uh -huh. it was just about the containment mm -hmm. of the COVID season yeah. and how it affected different couples. Mm -hmm. um, very few came out stronger. Mm -hmm. Most couples yeah. uh, ended up split or mm -hmm. not alive. Mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. So many dark secrets in the COVID mm -hmm. closet. Yeah. So that was contained. Mm -hmm. um, on my YouTube page, mm -hmm. the Sun Castles. Mm -hmm. Sun Castles stars Bilal Wanjao. Mm -hmm. Uh, Akinyo Luoch mm -hmm. and some young performers. Yeah. And this is uh, about uh, the effect of separation, mm -hmm. the effect separation has on children. On children, yeah. okay. Yeah, so we, we, I really don't like preaching with my work, so mm -hmm. it's just watch it, feel the things you'll feel, mm -hmm. then decide how you live your life. Mm -hmm. You know, I oh, won't tell you what is right or wrong. <laughs> yeah, More so. motivation for us to go and check them out. <laughs> Can check mm -hmm. that out. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there is the comeback. I think mm -hmm. there's the comeback. The mm -hmm. comeback was uh, was a collaborative project we did with Alice Kombani, mm -hmm. and this is, I think, on Old Gold Films mm -hmm. uh, YouTube mm -hmm. or on Alice Kombani YouTube yeah. page. Mm -hmm. And this was about the comeback, mm -hmm. uh, how people were found with second wives after COVID was done. So we <laughs> created a lot during so, yeah, the COVID during, during COVID, that is when yeah. you did the most on film. 
on yeah yeah, yeah. yes mm. but mm. when it comes to theater not so much was done not so much was done mm -hmm. uh, so my upcoming project mm -hmm. i started writing it then oh mm -hmm. yeah but the thing was a lot of people were like ah you guys especially mm -hmm. the writers you'll be writing a lot now that <laughs> covid is here <laughs> i thought i would uh -huh. but i was just depressed for and i'm not using depressed like mm -hmm. the, the the big thing okay. it is i uh -huh. let me choose a different one <laughs> choose mm -hmm. a lighter one yeah lighter word i was uh -huh. i was just indoors and i felt like um I, I felt everything because mm -hmm. that's the thing with with uh, I guess actors maybe mm -hmm. not all of them mm -hmm. at times you you feed from the energies around you yeah. and the COVID especially the first few months they threw me off mm -hmm. I could barely work I could barely feel creative mm -hmm. so I spent most of my first few months just watching TV mm -hmm. and working mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. uh, but it was a very disturbing season so mm -hmm. making films is what excited us mm -hmm. uh, theater we couldn't do Not that so because yeah, we weren't allowed to come together. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So let's talk about that um, play that you wrote during mm. the pandemic, Supernova. Mm. Tell us a bit about that. Cool. Um, yeah, Supernova, I started writing in uh, September mm -hmm. 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, my stage projects I write for a while, so that's mm -hmm. taken me tw two years to complete. I, uh, I, I think you've seen my face. Uh, 2020, we are in 2022. Yeah, we're in 2022. Yeah. <laughs> I uh -huh. actually didn't finish writing it that long ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, less, than, less than a month ago. Uh -huh. But we started rehearsing uh, a couple of months back. Yeah. So, yeah, that's been an exciting project. Mm -hmm. Supernova, the meaning of supernova mm -hmm. is uh, the process of a star dying. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, the stars we look up at, mm -hmm. Nkoju, mm -hmm. when they die, they become uh, either fine dust mm -hmm. or black holes. Okay. But that process mm -hmm. is called supernova. Uh, a supernova. Mm -hmm. So, a supernova, uh, for this particular project, supernova is a one-man uh, uh, production, mm -hmm. meaning it's, a, it's only one person on stage for at least 75 minutes. There is the other challenge. Yeah. One person on stage for 75 minutes. Yes, for 75 minutes. How? Yeah. Um, How are you supposed to pull that off? Yikes, I guess people will have to come and <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, uh -huh. uh, it, every, every one person performance depends on the writing. Uh -huh. So if the writing is well, is well played around with, mm -hmm. then it keeps the audience engaged mm -hmm. all through. Yeah. And then it's also a challenge for the actor mm -hmm. because they now have to play more than one character. Yes. So for this particular one, I play, well, well now I've revealed that I'll be the one You'll acting You'll be the this. one, okay. yeah. Uh, so in this particular one, I will play uh, three three distinct characters, mm -hmm. but with another three who come in and out. Yeah. So by three distinct means at least three, three characters uh -huh. will have more than uh, twenty five minutes by themselves on stage. Yeah. Then we'll have at least another three, meaning uh -huh. there could be close to five uh -huh. who pop in and out, and it's just and the same person. So yeah. these five people mm. in one person yeah yeah wow yeah it's, it's going to be exciting and um yeah the how do you plan on happens. keeping it interesting because i mean seeing the same person mm. okay not uh, literally the same person it is but the same person, yeah. <laughs> character wise it's yeah. different people how how will you keep it interesting and make people you know engaged all yes. through uh thankfully the work like I said, if the writing is well done, mm -hmm. then it really becomes easy to follow the story because it's riveting. It's yeah. very interesting. Mm -hmm. it's, about, uh, it's about a radio guy. Mm -hmm. This radio guy is called Frank. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a morning radio show. He does breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, his show is called This Is Not Cussing, so I might mm -hmm. as well just say it. <laughs> yeah. The show is called F in the Morning because uh -huh. his name is Frank. Yes. That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh -huh. that's the name of the show. Yeah. Uh, so out there, he's a public figure. You, uh -huh. you guys know how it is. Yeah. Um, especially when you come to work, you have to be all bubbly and energetic. Mm -hmm. But once the cameras go or go off, you're like, ah, man, now, I know. life, you know, I'm going through this. I'm seeing this. So that's what he's going through. We relate. Every, you do, right? You should <laughs> yeah. come and watch the show, you know? <laughs> so, and that's the thing. Uh -huh. Fra Frank, the Frank character goes uh -huh. through this. Yeah. Every morning, 6, I go studio. Mm -hmm. Hey, wake up, Nairobi. How you doing? It's mm -hmm. your boy. And the then show is up in the morning. Yeah. And then, and then engages them. Uh -huh. It's brilliant. After that, he has things to Back go home to. to. Yeah, so we back get to, to see reality. back to reality, yeah. that balance. Mm -hmm. And he has people who are close to him. Mm -hmm. 
there are things that excite his life, mm -hmm. but there are also things that really take him down there, mm -hmm. like uko chini kabisa. Yeah. And it's set when COVID is ending, mm -hmm. so it's set in 2021. Mm -hmm. So he talks about going through COVID, mm -hmm. he talks about his career picking, yeah. yet his personal life going down under. Mm -hmm. So okay. how do we keep it engaged? Mm -hmm. The story mm -hmm. is super good, mm -hmm. that I can assure people. Yeah. And uh, the characters are super interesting. Mm -hmm. There's change in lights, mm -hmm. so that, that helps. Mm -hmm. There's change in costume, mm -hmm. that helps. There's an interval. Yeah. yeah so it's going to be mm -hmm. really good. Okay, so yeah. where can people, where will, um, where will you be doing the play and where can people get the tickets? Ah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So the people can, uh, all our um, social media platforms, uh -huh. uh, we used to have a Twitter actually, I'm not going to pandemic. Uh -huh. So right now it's just IG, yeah. which is Prevail Presents. Uh -huh. And of, on Facebook, it's uh, Prevail Arts Company uh -huh. or Prevail Presents. Uh -huh. So what people uh, can get there are all the updates that we give. So the poster is out uh -huh. with a pay bill number, uh -huh. with the tickets and how yeah. much they are. In yeah. fact, today uh -huh. we just released a, a bogey ticket. Uh -huh. So for four tickets, uh -huh. uh, guys can get it at 3,500. Oh, nice. For one ticket, it's uh -huh. 1,099 shillings. Uh -huh. No, no, like, uh -huh. Bob to yeah. kwa hii, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> For two, it's uh -huh. 2K and yeah. they'll see all the details there. Uh -huh. Uh, it's going to be at the National Theatre, okay. particularly the Ukumbi Mdogo, and mm -hmm. uh, we decided that because we like it very intimate. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we've sold out mm -hmm. to Naifunga, Naifunga, but hopefully, I've had, you have fans from Nanyuki. Yes, we, we do. We always take our plays to Nanyuki because uh -huh. um, there's a crowd that left Nairobi and went to Nanyuki, okay. and, okay. They, and they love theatre, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, and that has hinted who they mainly are. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> so we'll be taking it there as the year goes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm. so once again, can you um, tell people your social media handles? Maybe no if an actor wants to join um, Prevail, Prevail yes. yeah. how they can do that? Um, well, honestly, especially when actors hit us up on, mm -hmm. hey, how can I get into the industry? Mm -hmm. Me and just go out there and watch shows. Mm -hmm. Watch shows after the show, engage with the actors. Yeah. This whole online thing, mm -hmm. hey, nataka audition, nanini. Aita mm -hmm. kusaidia. Yeah. Wewe enda National Theatre, enda Lyons, enda ata kani to the cinemas. If there's a local play, mm -hmm. go watch it after it's done. Tafta atu yeah. and, hey, how do you get true, into true. this? Like, you have to be there yourself. Mm -hmm. So, in short, I'm trying to say, was DM your story, yeah. but wa Show, what show, what you enjoy, what, what interact exactly our social uh, media platforms. The company is Prevail Presents. Mm -hmm. My name is Martin Kigondu, mm -hmm. and so Martin Kigondu everywhere from yes. YouTube to Twitter. Mm -hmm. Twitter, it's Kigondu mm -hmm. on Instagram, it's Kigondu. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, thank you so much for thank coming you. through. We appreciate your time so so much. Asante. Any parting shots? Any parting shots? Uh -huh. uh, I'll just say. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm. What were for a year? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, good job. Oh, when is the I show? I really enjoyed the mix. Show me a Monday. Okay. This nice. uh, Labor Day. Okay. Eh, All right. Satisa. Uh -huh. eh. So, Tafadali, you go watch it. Me, I think I'd be curious to see that one man. You know, one man performance. For seven or two hours. Oh, 75, 75 minutes. 75 minutes. Oh, 72 yeah, minutes. hours. Oh, wow. That's a challenge. <laughs> is that a challenge? <laughs> he might take it up. And if you do, please tell us. I took up that challenge. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, thank you so much. Make sure you go to the show if you can. Now, um, details will be out, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, please go enjoy yourself. If, if you are an actor, um, don't DM people. Do the work. Okay? Do the work. Yes. So, do you Well, do the thing. Yes. Hey.